I gained nothing from this senseless murder. All I've gained is a solid understanding that I could be a better person. Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode of Elden Ring. In the last episode, we did a little dungeon, we got some money, we bought some stuff, we had a little fun time, uh, and in this episode we're going to continue on our little adventure. Uh, I did, uh, once again, I did play a little bit more on my other character, just to like get a feel for some things, do some testing. I did not get very far, but I do know where we need to go next. Which is nice, because I will admit, after doing that dungeon, I had very little idea where to go next at all. That guy didn't really have to die, it's more that he kind of looked at me funny. But he did drop gauntlets. Which is cool. Slightly better in some ways, worse in other ways. How do they look? Eh, they look kind of alright. Excuse me, motherfucker? That was not acceptable. <laughs> There's a bunch of those people in, this, in these woods, which is nice. There is also a little cave up there a ways a bit, which we will be going to. Should we go now or should we go later? I don't know. I kind of have a, a specific place in mind to go for once. Again, I... I uh, I have not gotten very far, but I know some stuff. <laughs> so we are going to come up here. Kay is out into how pretty this game is. Then I'm going to come over here to my little pouch of stuff. Put my telescope on there so I can quickly use that without having to put it on my hotbar of combat items. That little guy over there is a little, like, scarab or something. We can kill him and it'll replenish our flasks, which is nice. Oh. That's another statue of Marika. Marika. I have no idea. But as you can see, there's a little ruin over here. Try stealth, they say. Well, we could try stealth. We could also just wander in blindly and face them all in Mortal Kombat, which I think is what I'm gonna do by taking a tried and true strategy of spinning around them and then stabbing them in the butthole. Whoops. I don't know how that didn't hit you. Alright. That guy's dead. Oh man, he dropped his armor. Sick. I wonder if the, like, the drop rates for their armor and stuff doesn't seem to be, uh, that bad. Gate front ruins. Like, it seems to be, all things considered, pretty manageable. That's that guy attracted. I think, honestly... The biggest use of a bow in this game, and in any Souls game, is just being able to freaking attract people from a far ways away, you know? Whoops. A little bit of stuttering. Come here, pal. Get a little bit of this bread. Alright, that worked out a lot better in my head. Right? And he's dead now. Would we, the way that we're going about this count as being stealthy? Because we're not, like, going straight through, like, the main little road. We're being a little stealthy, right? Right, guys? Just a little bit? 
It is cool that stealth is an option in this game. Like the great the extent that stealth was available in any Souls game before this, aside from Sekiro, was like uh wearing a little ring that makes it so that you can be less detectable. I have no idea what this is. Oh. My. First off, magic. Well done. Is this- this can't be a mimic, right? Are mimics in this game? Oh god. Adding skills. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Sites of Grace. An armament, armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. An armament's type determines what skill it can have. Some special armament, armaments have unique skills and cannot be granted new ones. With a whetstone knife, you can gr use Ashes of War to grant affinities to your armaments at Sites of Grace. This way you can alter an armament's attack affinity, boost attribute scaling, and more. An armament's type determines the affinities it can have, like sp some special arm armaments, like those with unique skills, cannot be granted new affinities. Cool. That is something that I completely missed with my other character, because I was not paying attention. But it's good that we got it with this one, because this one's the one that matters. You. Really? Why don't you come over here where I know that there's no, like, pals for you to have? Even, like, during the combat, when I'm mostly just focused on, like, this guy's big-ass shield, I'm just like, man, this game is so fucking pretty, you know? So pretty. I think I could have done, like, a critical strike there or whatever. I got his shield and his armor. That's fucking cool. I wonder how heavy his armor is. Tree and Beast Circo. Yeah, a lot of these seem better with physical defense. Oh man, that looks so cool. It's got a little cape. My little wimpy ass shield looks very wimpy next to it. Which is kind of funny. But now I've got a little cape. It goes very well with my hair. Can I even get in here? I can. Read message. Help me. <laughs> but there's definitely more people around. Like that guy. Oh, from downtown. Oh crap, there's that guy too. Oh, he's got a shield. That's a big shield. Alright, we're just gonna... Come on up here. Shank him in the butt. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Alright, I'm beginning to think that attack isn't parryable. Ow, my face. Trust me, guys, I'm good at these games. I did not anticipate breaking that entire wagon. There's another guy around here, though. I should be able to sneak underneath this. Turn around. Right now so that I can stab you in the rear and so that you will shut up. <laughs> I also like how it seems like, uh, and there's a little chest over here, it seems like whenever an enemy drops something, uh, they have like a little extra little burst of light whenever they die. Which is useful for me because I'll just be waiting for people to fall over completely to see if they drop something. 
and this allows me oh, just a little bit of streamlinedness. Ah, uh, crap. My parrying is subpar at best. But... Are there any more people? Yeah, there's a guy over there. Oh, there's a guy over here, too. Oh, wow, you got a nice shield. You want to drop that for me, pal? That'd be so nice of you to drop that for me. No, nothing. Worth a shot, though. Oh, I just noticed that you can pick up those butterflies. Which is cool. But there's, uh... Man, I'm getting distracted. Because I just, I like exploring. Could've, I could've sworn that there was, like, something around here over on the left side. I have no idea what kind of animal that is. I'm gonna kill it, though. I gained nothing from this senseless murder. All I've gained is a solid understanding that I could be a better person. Alright, look, fellows, maybe we can discuss this? I didn't mean to. I really... I unintentionally stabbed him. You know how it be. It do be like that sometimes. Oh, my face. Ha <laughs> ha. Message was appraised. Cool. How many messages have I left? I think I only left the one. Oh, I think it was like the Time for Joy one. That's nice. I like that. Ruin fragment. I can't remember where I... I remember picking up, like, this golden seed thing. It might have actually been in that cave, if I think about it. But I, you can use those to upgrade your flask. Which is, uh... I believe going to be essential to our success. I also believe that that is not really a controversial statement in the slightest. Hey pal, wanna go a few rounds? Wanna dance? Wanna dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? These standard humanoid guys. What's funny, uh, is that they're super easy to backstab, like they are in- Oh! And we got all the stuff back, because we killed the group of enemies! I forgot about that. That's very nice. Now I don't have to rest immediately. But, uh... What was I saying? Oh god, words. Um... The, uh, these guys are super easy to backstab. Uh, much like many humanoid enemies were in Dark Souls, uh, but they seem to be invulnerable for a longer during, like, the period where they're getting up, so you can't just wail on them while they're getting up like you could previously. Oh, right, and I just remembered the exact reason why we came here. Pick up the item. Map. Limgrave. West. New map has been found. Gatefront Ruins is where we are. But you can see, now this chunk of the map is significantly more detailed. With things like this lake. Ooh, a little bit of stuttering. That's the graveyard where we started. Cave of Knowledge, Stranded Graveyard, the first step. Church of Ella. Heading towards here, I believe. That's the catacombs that we were in last episode. I think the cave I pointed out is somewhere around there-ish. We'll probably go to that later this episode. But first, we've acquired a map, which is nice. I don't know why I said that like that. First off, center. That's weird. I wonder why there's all these red flowers around here. Probably just a fanciful looking thing. Yeah. Alright, so part of me wants to run off and 
just have little adventures, but uh, based on my experience from with my other character, whoops, even more stuttering, woo. Uh, there's something that we're going to want to pick up over here. And it's... I have no... Oh, there's a message. How do I get up there? I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get up there. Eh, it doesn't matter. Cow skull. Wire materials. But basically... We're going to want to reach out and touch Grace. And, uh, something happens when you find three individual above-ground bonfires. And we'll see that here. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. I see no reason to refuse. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah, another matter. I bequeath to you this ring. The Spectral Steed Whistle. Use it to traverse great distances. It will summon a Spectral Steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Shall I turn your runes to strength? Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Your thoughts, your ambitions, the principles you would follow. With the level up menu, you can spend runes to increase your attributes. With each attribute increase, your level rises by one. As your level rises, so does the amount of runes required for your next attribute increase. So, we can now upgrade our stats. Which is cool. We can only have en uh, enough souls to upgrade once. So I think that we're going to, uh... Hmm... I think we're going to put a point into strength. Thanks, pal. Use the Spectral Seed Whistle uh, to summon and ride your Spectral Steed. If your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon again, but it will cost one flask of Crimson Tears to do so. You can dismount by using the whistle again or by pressing... Blah, 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 blah. From Pouch in the main menu, you can equip, equip six items to your pouches. Uh, four of those items can be used without opening the main menu. which is what I equipped the telescope to earlier. But now I can come in here and put the Spectral Steed Whistle on that one slot, so now we can ride around on Torrent. 
which just looks really cool. See how fucking cool that was? Look at that shit. That's so dope. And you can go really fast on Torrent. See? Torrent go new. You can also jump, which is nice. But you can just summon him from wherever. Which is really convenient. I'm gonna come in here. Oh no, that looks alright. See, my problem with the, in these games is that I, uh always end up spending more time uh, with my outfits than I do with anything else. I do want to see, however, if we can wield the Lord Sworn's Greatsword that we picked up, because that sounds cool. Attributes required, 16 strength, we need 3 more strength, which is not too big of a deal to get. Especially considering our, our required path, I believe, if we come over here, uh, is through the big ass gate that was right by the area. But I kind of want to pick up enough souls to use that great sword, or to level up and use that great sword, because uh, I like big swords and I cannot lie. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go to that cave that I found with my other character. Right on over here. I, uh, part of me debated whether or not to use another character, because I, uh, I'll, I just didn't know whether or not it would be right to do things and not have people see them, but also it kind of helps me prevent myself from wandering around aimlessly too much, because I tend to do that. <laughs> um, but you know. It's whatever. This summoning pool is now functional. I do wonder... Yes, yes. If we can come into item... Well, first let's go into status. You can check your level attributes, base, stats, and more. Yada, yada, yada. Medallion. Yeah, it doesn't show me. I really... I'd like to know... What those things up there mean by my stamina bar, but I guess I will not know for now. Can I craft bone arrows? I cannot. I need to kill more animals. I say that I need more arrows simply because I feel as though I need more arrows. Just because they're very useful for luring people out. There's probably a place to buy arrows, but I don't really have the souls for that right now. And there's a bunch of wolfy wolves in here. Whoops. Oh, shit. Hey, fellas, you're biggin'. Luckily, they're not very sturdy wolves. Cave moss. No idea what that's going to be good for, but I imagine it'll be good for something. Seems like the wolves kind of took up residence in a cave that was filled with these soldiers. Also, y'all heard that, that Borkin, right? Live Borkin? Alright, and a cracked pot, which I think we can use to make more firebombs. Or make firebombs, period, which I do not currently have, I believe. Yeah. Silver fireflies, no idea what those are good for, but they're probably good for something. Golden rune which is like the redeemable souls in uh, 
within Beast Bones. In uh, Dark Souls, you can just use them and you get a certain amount of runes. Oh boy, man. Game does not like this cave for some reason. More cave moss. There's a guy over here. And then there's a boss. It's a very short little cave. I actually thought there were more wolves in there. Did I miss one? Surely I did not. More wolves or something. Also, this must not have been where I found that one golden seed or whatever it was called. But as you guys can see, there's definitely a little boss door down there. Which, now that I've collected everything, I'm just going to go rest at the bonfire really quick. And then we'll go and fight that. And hopefully that'll give us the souls required to level up. We are going to have to run past the wolves really quick. Which shouldn't be too big of an issue. We'll just carefully do a little sneaky sneak down this way. Luckily, wolves can't see me because wolves are blind and stupid and dumb. Traverse the mist. The beast man of Faramazula. I did not expect that to have that level of range. Wow. <laughs> Fun fact with the other character, I beat this one first try. <laughs> oh well. That was a very, very weak first attempt, but we will now cut back to the winning attempt. <laughs> Heyo! Second attempt. And we got the Flame Drake Talisman. Which is like the talisman that we got at the start of the game, except instead of increasing uh, our health, it increases the, our resistance to fire. Which is useful. I'm not sure when it'll be useful, but it'll be useful, probably. But... That is about all there is in this cave, which is nice. So we can just return to the entrance, level up, spend our souls. Hopefully we'll have enough to get three points of strength, at which point uh, we will then wield our larger sword like a maniac, because that's all I know how to do. Level up. Damn it. <laughs> Only enough for whatchamacallits to... I wonder if I use the golden rune that we found. Whether or not that'll be better. Gave us 200. Don't think that that's quite enough. No, no it's not. But we're almost there. So now I just need to run around killing some stuff. In fact, I'm going to run around killing these dudes in this forest for a minute, just to see if I can find that golden seed that I mentioned. Alright, so I did not find the seed that I was talking about, but I did just get enough to level up and get this greatsword. It's not quite as unrealistically large as I would prefer, but it's a start. can still jump around with it. So part of me is unsure whether or not to go 
that way through the big gates, which I, I think I'm supposed to go that way. Who the hell are those guys? I don't know, I feel like I don't want to mess with them. Oh, oh, oh. That was that noise? Excuse me? Y'all want to run that by me again there, son? Y'all are seeing that, right? That's not just me. There's literally no part of me that is like, this is a good idea. Bulger Bloom. I'm gonna get struck by lightning. I'm literally... I'm holding a metal sword. And that freaking goat is trying to kill me. For some reason. I guess I pissed him off. Sucks to be him, though. I have no idea what Fulgur Bloom is and why I just picked up a ton of it. Oh, great. I've definitely attracted that guy. Stay away, pal. That's not a fight that you want. I'll kick your ass. I'll do it unrepentantly. Man, these goats are just aggro as hell. They do not give a damn. Alright, I'm beginning to think those guys are the guys doing that little, like, ogre sound. No, I don't think I can get up there. Yeah, even with a running start. The jump is a little stubby, I'm not gonna lie. I wonder how much fall damage there is. Probably a lot. This is a From Software game after all. Also, what's with these glowing skulls? Oh, excuse me, you break them and they give you glowing runes. I feel really bad about the one that I used as a soccer ball earlier now. No boss ahead. Helpful. Well, clearly there was a bunch of people that fucked around on these cliffs and found out. Seek flower. Trina's lily. I shouldn't have mashed through that quite so fast. Oh, this is not smart. Why am I doing this? I'm amazed that I got through that without dying. Like, I am shocked. Yeah. <laughs> you can do a little roll while you're crouching, that's so cute. Alright, so... Coming in here to my... Inventory. Coming in here to my inventory, what is this Trina's Lily? Exceedingly rare to find. A light purple water lily that is on the verge of wilting. Material used for crafting items. Exceedingly rare to find. A symbol of faith in Saint Trina. Dulls the senses, preventing agitation. Well, I have no fucking clue what that does. I do know that is about the time that we should probably uh, stop for now. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe, any of which would mean the world to me, uh, and I do so hope that you enjoyed. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good one.